So, <laughs> this is just going to be like finale talk, I guess. So, I'm part, kind of nervous. Part 38. <laughs> I'm really kind of nervous now because in, going into this episode, I really, I thought 100% it was going to be Ren. But now Megan is a little highly suspicious of Ezra. I hope I'm just being one of those people that's like... Jumping on the Ezra train. Yeah. I hope that, like, I just have a bad feeling and that's what they want me to have. Okay, well. I still don't believe Caleb. I, I, <laughs> I will throw myself over the high side of my porch. But I just There's feel... Oh, yeah, there is. I just feel like it, something is not <laughs> sitting right with me right now and I just feel I like... Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the baby, it's the baby making you think that it's Ezra. I started having contractions, and, and you could just imagine the what the hell we're going of the to episode. have to deal with in next week's episode. Considering she sits there, first commercial break, stops the live reaction, leans back on the couch. Oh my god, guys, I am getting contractions in my back. It was bad. It and happened we're just for like, a good fucking ten minutes, and then it just went away. <coughs> I, I, I'm like, I hope. Do it's you want a pillow? Stress. Sarah goes. Can you wait forty five minutes? <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was about. Uh, just, just don't next week, please. We already declined the di the diaper party. Do not, do not do this to us. I'm nervous. Or it's going to be me and Sarah coming soon to a live reaction near you. I have a feeling that's it's, what's going to It's gonna not going to happen. The earth will not allow it. Mother Nature, God, no one is going to allow this. So, continue on with finale discussions. Anyway, finale discussions. I really, I'm, I'm feeling like... Sorry for Chuck. I, I do a little bit. <laughs> baby Chuck. Uh, they, baby they were Chucky. right. That Now... Not to say I we feel, feel sorry bad for, for baby Chucky. Adult Chuck, yeah, but we feel I bad. I'm feeling for sorry baby for baby Chuck. Charlie, holding his little teddy bear, looking down the hall. I'm feeling sorry for Charlie, not, not cool. so much fucking Charles. Okay, I would have killed that bitch too. Oh, I would have killed her too. But <laughs> here's the thing: it kind of makes me feel a little bad. I hope that it wasn't him that killed her because mm. she actually really was trying to Th that's that's no excuse i don't care what guy you have in your life okay well you could peace the fuck out i'm gonna keep my kid deuces <laughs> absolutely but i i'm i'm <sighs> yeah what if you had to choose between your kid and jeremy what happens the fuck you jeremy see he's the fuck out. so what do you mean my kid would come first. Well, it's uh, okay, so what do you mean? She but, really tried. I don't give a She didn't try hard enough. No, here's what I'm saying, though. We didn't even know who the fuck he was. She didn't try hard enough. Hold on. Here's go what ahead. I'm saying. Okay, go ahead. She had two other kids to protect, I too. Don't, protect? We don't know what if, happened. Uh, we don't know what happened, but I'm saying, if it was, in fact, that he... You could not stop your kid from drowning your other kid, really? I'm just you saying. couldn't put him in some type, but you couldn't... Get him a psychiatrist. Do All something right. like I'm that. I'm not arguing about mommy daddy issues right now. I just want to. It's not mommy daddy. It's mommy daddy, daughter, sister, brother, niece, nephew. I feel cousin. bad for baby Charlie. Charles, I'm not sure of yet because I don't know the story. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I don't know if I, he wasn't about really that, never it was even. About you saying about Mrs. D. He really shouldn't have killed her. Yeah, he should have. I I disagree. There's people that get abandoned by their parents all the time. I think he should have fucked his father up, too. Well, that's what I'm saying. If anyone, why <laughs> didn't he kill his to. fucking father? His father around. should have been number one. He wasn't around yet. <laughs> so, I'm a, I'm very concerned. Well, we haven't seen Kenneth since. No, nope. all you saw was his glass of scotch on the table. We don't even know if that was his. No, we, we don't. We haven't seen him since he went to go dig that grave up. That's the last time we've seen him. <laughs> no, we saw him after that. He dug the grave up, then he kidnapped Allie. Yeah. And, and told Allie to get the last, fuck in the car. Last we saw, he was uh, drugged up by yeah, Allie. Yeah, drugged up by Allie. Which is another thing. You're drugging, you're drugged your dad, <laughs> snuck the fuck out, but yet you can go to prom. No grounding in that fucking, like, you know what I mean? Like, how are you supposed to ground these girls? That's what I'm saying, though. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, you just tried to, literally, you drugged your father. 
if I drugged my father, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that I probably wouldn't be able to do my fucking activities for the but night. If daddy <laughs> I would not be partaking in that plan. If, you, if, if, your da if daddy had you locked... Pissed off, like, Bob? Held somewhere captive. Michaela, hold the hell on. If, 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 huh? Michaela's texting me. Hold okay. on, video. Um, she can't hear you. I know. If, she'll, she'll hear when she watches. If um, daddy had you, like... Locked up in this room because I was going fucking nuts and you were trying to find me? To protect me, though. You, we don't even know that. We don't know what he's trying to protect her from. Sarah, the truth? He, you don't know what he's he trying was, to protect her from. Okay, but he took her away to keep her safe. That that was, he. that's what he said. I'm just, I, why do you always argue with me because. about everything? Well, I'm just going to go out on a limb here again and say I'm not going to be around when Big Bob is pissed. I am not partaking in any kind I'll of drugging of Bob. Bob. You Big can Bob do it all you want. Big I am Bob's not present not for that. that often. We need lots of pills Exactly. Back. Yeah, you'll need a tranquilizer for <laughs> Big Bob. <laughs> like an elephant tranquilizer. <laughs> Shoot him from across the room. <laughs> Give him a soul or two. <laughs> A summer oh my Mo. God. It knocked Mo on. I swear to God, knocked Mo out for three days. Mo is not Big Bob. No, but Mo is a big boy. <laughs> so, my dad mowed the lawn today. In his Christmas, in his Christmas, Christmas pants. pants. <laughs> it was cute. It was funny. But my mom tagged us all in the picture. It's he's funny. a cute guy. He's fun. So, it's cute when he's trying to he light his eyebrows on fire. <laughs> <thing. laughs> <laughs> he called me. <laughs> he did. My dad was having a cigar. At, uh, was it your birthday? Fourth of July, July party. Fourth of July party. <laughs> has the cigar in his mouth like this. <laughs> and his <laughs> eyesight's going. And he starts lighting the He's thing. He goes like that. <laughs> I really hope this is not the friggin' thumbnail for this video. <laughs> <laughs> he starts lighting the cigar. He goes like this. <laughs> and I'm like Bob. He's sober too. I'm he like was, Bob. Are you trying to food. set your eyebrows on fire? He's and like, he's why am I in the middle of it? Why am I in the middle of it? it now you're on at the end. You're kind of like right up here. <laughs> he almost had let his eyebrows on fire. That's how close he was yeah, to his face. He called me three day. He said, "Hey, turd face, could you stop at the mailbox?" That he did. But <laughs> back to the finale again. I don't. I'm. I'm kind of nervous. I don't. Like I said, we hey, don't. Bob, there's no way so that Ezra could fit Charles. We've seen pictures of him literally on a lake in a kayak <laughs> <laughs> we have <laughs> literally <laughs> in a gondola. we did we saw pictures of him and they were said, actual pictures I know, but just the way of that. ian harding when he was a child that they used in place of ezra fitz when he was a child we've seen pictures of him as a child oh, he's had a backstory the so there's no way that it 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 can't be yeah. possible, he but that's not to say that they're going to make it happen. <laughs> that's not to say that they they won't try and pass it off and be like, oh, they'll never catch on. Oh, okay, because we didn't meet his family, his mother, brother, little, yeah, like, whatever. Family, meanwhile, Ren, possible baby mother. Meanwhile, Ren, we didn't even so much as see us a fucking dog that belongs but to him. But what's worrying us is the fact that Allison recognized whoever that was. But that's not to say we don't know but if like she said, doesn't was, know Ren. Maybe she was following the girls in news yeah Sarah said you know she's been, she's following the girls the whole time I'm sure you, you know in between fucking seeing Spencer uh, you know doing something I'm sure she's seen she probably knew and if you're going back to 213 when she did say she knew a doctor who could tell him tell them Leon if it was in fact Ren she was talking Not saying about. that it was but, but she could absolutely know Ren but is it possible that whoever turns around, whoever had that on, is not is not actually Charles, Charles. and it's going to be Redcoat. Like I'm just saying that the, whoever I, is, that was a big hand. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm I, it probably is Charles, but I'm just saying it's also possible that Cece could whip that mask off and be fucking Ch Redcoat, and she, that's why she's surprised. That's, uh, that's Sarah a very Harvey good. could go fucking whipping her mask off, and she could be like, "What? Why aren't Mona, you taking a shower?" Mona could whip the mask off and tr be trying to help Allie. For all we know, whoever this is, we don't even know if it's really fucking Charles. We don't know if we point. find out Charles in the very beginning, the middle, or the end, end of this it episode. Was a, it was it, it was Black Hoodie. 
It was black hoodie. It was a black hoodie. But then we see a hoodie. But then we see Charles or whoever it is, black hoodie, standing on top of Radley or wherever they are with cops surrounding them. So is that where we find out? Like Mary and Kavanaugh. Yeah, and then we have the girls who we find out who killed her next week. About to believe he could fly. What about Ian? He was about to believe. That was fucking two seasons ago about Mary and Kavanaugh. Ian's five years gone, and Still no one talks Ian. about his nope. ass. No one. No. He's just Garrett, poof. He's gone out. But according Garrett. to Marlene King, we will find out all the answers that Summer we've been answers. waiting for. I've been, I've been, I don't care who red coat is. To be quite honest, I don't care who black veil is. I want to know who the fuck killed Ian. <laughs> so unless it ties in with Charles or Maya. Yeah, or Maya. Unless it char- ties in with Charles, I don't really give a fuck. I don't- and I wonder if that's who they're talking about when they said that you've seen another, you're going to see another person, however the fuck she worded it, about another person that we might see come back from the dead. I hope to God that's Maya. I'm. Yeah, he's got her locked up somewhere. I really hope to God it's Maya. I really do. Because we've seen bodies and we've seen him snatch Maya up. But that was the last. But we didn't know if that was but him that never, snatched Well, Maya we've up. never seen anybody get snatched Lyndon up and James killed. James never, never said he killed her. He said, what do you think? That's Those were his exact words. And then Paige was just like, oh, my God. I can't oh, on the, the on the discussion of Paige, we actually had this discussion. We actually had this discussion, given the choice you know, between it's Paige rip my mustache and you know, <laughs> you know, you know that it how much be we can't stand Paige. However... Given the choice between Paige and Sarah Harvey, guess which one we pick? Paige all the way, because I can't stand Sarah Harvey. Go take a shower, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. If she went, like, I really hope that she doesn't wind up being Redcoat. That's going to bother me. Like, Why? Okay. I hope she ends up being part of the storyline, so she's just out of Emily's life. Like, But she's not, because she's, she's in back in season B, B. 6B. <clears throat> it's going to wind up either being Sarah Harvey that's Redcoat or Cece that's Redcoat. And the whole CC thing, I'm telling you or right Mona. now. Or Mona. But. And then Black Veil's going to end up being Melissa. I think Black Veil. I think Melissa. that's yeah. the only option for Black I don't Vail. think it's the only option because I, I know Somebody I'm going to get a lot of backlash. Someone said it on one of our videos that, oh, I think that CC is everyone. Charles, Black Veil, Red wow. Coat. What? She's just That's fucking multitasking yeah. like a mother. She's like, I'm in the front of the car. I'm in the back. I'm in the front of the car. I'm in the back. <laughs> I bought the tickets and now I'm opening them. I got them and now I'm opening them. And I'm gonna fucking. I'm, I'm driving the car. I'm a passenger. I'm, I'm driving the car. I'm a passenger. Yep. I'm yep. gonna hand myself this thing and then jump back here. <laughs> we're not making fun. Uh, of you. We're just saying that's impossible. Well, so please. Yes. Not. Oh yeah, we're really not making fun of you because I don't make fun of people. That's just funny. I really don't make fun that, of people. Really, though, that's funny. But I'll tell you what. Maybe you'll at get a chuckle At one point, I did that. think real, really hard. I told you today, they were even making Mama Mary seem a little sus. They had everybody in this fucking show And I thought about her at one tonight. point as Black Veil. All in all, this episode She was, was involved. Of all the mothers, she was involved with stuff. Yep. We all in all, though. We still though, don't know what happened that night between her and Wilden. Nor will they. We still, like, we don't know a lot. And... I don't know. She's a size two mother. They just had her. They said she was the smallest. They had her up in that little crawl space. She still makes me a little sus. I feel I know like I'm gonna get a little, everyone sus. I know I'm right gonna now. get a little backlash from that, and you can all definitely suck it. But you heard it here, folks. But I, she's a possibility of my black veil. It's Melissa or Mama Marin. I just feel like I just don't know anymore. We feel like it's Ren. We've however, all... however, given the fact, if it is not, we're going to leave you with this little something to look forward to. If it's not Ren, be prepared for a nice little surprise in next week's reaction video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> Just be prepared is all it. I got to say. But all in all, this was you a great episode Ryan tonight. Because it's either going to be Ren or Ezra. Okay, Ryan, we love you. I don't know what else the shout out is to him. Oh, he's going to be making us a Oh, video. yes. I'm sorry, Ryan. I love you. Really. And he I had do. some pretty good theories to talk about. And so I love maybe him. Hopefully, we could face him. We all love him you. He he's can the discuss best person his theories in the world. with you because his theories made sense. And, so. Ryan, I'm sorry that I couldn't t- FaceTime you the other day. I was at work. And so was I. You seem to FaceTime when I'm at work or walking. Well, I don't walk, sorry but you can definitely not FaceTime me while I'm at work. <laughs> in any case, tonight's episode was fantastic. 
uh, be prepared for a lot more videos coming your way this week. Bye! Peace.